Okay. Really hoping this is in focus right now because I'm super far away from that. I think I'm in focus. You know, my hair looks a lot cuter down, but uh, I always wear my hair up, so it felt really unnatural to have it down. And this is a video about me, so I threw it up because that's mostly me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm filming a 50 random facts about me. I thought this would be a good way for you guys to get to know me and any new subscribers that don't know me in real life get to know me on my YouTube life how I am in real life. So that is the purpose of this video. I wrote down 50 random facts to share with you guys today and I'm going to go through them as quickly as possible so this does not become an hour long video. So, without further ado, welcome to the 50 Random Facts About Me tag. First off, nicknames. I go by a lot of different nicknames. Most of my nicknames while I was a kid were Dart, Darty, Dozer, um, Darty Ann. Um, and then in my college life, one of my great friends actually started calling me Dirt Dirt Dirt, which those aren't actual words, it's just like syllables and sounds. I thought it was really cute and clever, so uh, thank you for that. I like that's probably one of my favorite nicknames. But I also go by Darce, which is a short term for Darcy, which seems weird because my name's already pretty short. Favorite movies? I'm gonna try and give you my top five with not in any particular order. Despicable Me movies. I love those. The Finding Nemo and Finding Dory movies. I love that franchise as well. Um, Interstellar. It completely blew my mind. Loved that movie. Inception, which I think is actually created or directed or written by the same person that wrote Interstellar. Super awesome. Love that movie as well. And number five, um, I thought I was going to have a fifth one. No Country for Old Men. It's kind of a dramatic movie and kind of a little bit creepy. I used to like scary movies and then... Now I don't like scary movies, <laughs> but No Country for Old Men probably is in my top five too. I think that's a really good uh, movie. Favorite animals. I am obsessed with squirrels and cows. I grew up on a farm, so I love cows. Any cows that I see are like my cows, like I call them my cows. Um, and squirrels, like I've always been obsessed with squirrels. I don't know if you guys heard of the book. I don't even know who it's by. I should know who it's by. It's called The Five Love Languages. One of my top love languages is actually gifts. And I enjoy receiving but also giving gifts. So that is the love language that I speak most in. I played sports in high school. I played basketball, track, cheerleading, if you include that as a sport, um, and volleyball. I really enjoyed basketball. That was like the number one sport I played. And I only did one year of track and I actually wasn't able to complete my year of track because I ended up messing up my knee somehow. I don't know what I did to it. I never got it checked out or looked at. So in order for me to continue playing basketball, I stopped track because I didn't want to hurt it any further. I grew up on a small farm out in the country in Missouri. We had cows and horses. We had pigs at one point. Always had cats and dogs on the farm. So I really love the country life. And I really look forward to having my own farm one day. I would love to have my own farmhouse and a few acres to have my own cows and maybe like some goats or something. So because I grew up on a farm, I was more of a tomboy when I was younger. My dad always wanted a son. And since I was the last girl uh, in the family, my dad I kind of became my dad's son in a way. But I loved getting in the mud and I loved getting dirty and I didn't care what I looked like. I didn't really care what people thought. Uh, I got along a lot better with guys than I did with girls growing up. Um, so yeah, I was a bit of a tomboy growing up. I wasn't really too girly. Some of my favorite foods, I love pickles and like I'll drink pickle juice straight. Love pickles. Uh, what are, oh, Buffalo Wild Wings. That is like my jam lately. I love Buffalo Wild Wings. If you go get the Parmesan garlic, that's my favorite. Super good. I'm a big fan of Carmelo's. Really good. I don't know why I wrote this down. What are my other favorite foods? Mexican? I love Mexican food. Like, I'm not Mexican, but I love Mexican food. Okay, moving on. <laughs> uh, my number one fear, I maybe I shouldn't put this out on the internet. 
I probably shouldn't. Uh, one of my top fears are clowns. I do not like clowns. There's a story behind it. I don't want to get into it now, but I don't like clowns. And I am also terrified that one day I will somehow get in a car accident and go off a bridge or into a body of water and be stuck inside of my car. Um, I'm not really scared of water. I don't think that I'm a very strong swimmer and I can't hold my breath very well. So I'm like, I'm not scared of the water itself. I'm scared of being trapped underwater and drowning. So I'm scared about being trapped in a vehicle underwater and I've had dreams about it my in-laws actually bought me one of those emergency like hammers so you can like break the window and like cut your seatbelt like that was the best Christmas kiss 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 that was the best Christmas I can't speak that was the best Christmas gift I could ever get because it gave me so much peace and I was like I didn't even think about that like that's a thing that people make like that makes so much sense. I have two tattoos and two piercings. I have my ears pierced once and my nose pierced, which everyone can see. I have a tattoo here on my wrist and then I also have a tattoo on my left rib cage that says Amazing Grace and it has two doves next to it. Um, I am not Mexican. I'm not Greek. I have been asked if I was Greek. That was probably my favorite um, question. I'm not uh, African American. I am white of English descent, but I also have Native American blood. I think I'm like 1 32nd Ameri uh, Native American. I don't know if that's like a thing. Um, so that's why I'm pretty dark complected and have dark skin, dark eyes, dark hair. My mom is the same way. She gets really tan in the summer and has a dark beautiful complexion. Well, my husband proposed to me in Mexico on the beach and two days before he proposed I mentioned a proposal. I think there was a picture on the wall of a wedding or something and I was like oh yeah look they're getting married. I can't wait to get married one day and he was kind of like oh I'm not sure that I'm ready yet. I was so upset with him. So the day that he proposed, like, I was totally caught off guard. I was expecting that if he was going to propose, it was going to be that day. But I didn't see a ring box in his pocket, so I was like, uh, you know, I guess it's not going to happen, whatever. And then he proposed, and I didn't actually say yes. I called him a turd and a turkey. Because I was so upset from the night before where he was like, oh yeah, I'm not sure if I'm ready to get married yet. I'm like, are you kidding me? You bring me to Mexico and you're not sure if you're going to marry me? Like, whatever. I was really upset. I was really caught off guard, but I was super excited. Growing up, I was always the class clown in my class. Whenever I was in high school playing basketball, I actually overextended my elbow in a basketball game and I thought I like dislocated something. I was in a lot of pain and I was actually taken home straight after that game to the hospital so they could x-ray it and see what happened and it turns out I only overextended it and I didn't break anything. My favorite movie actor has to be Jennifer Lawrence or Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Um, I think Joseph Gordon-Levitt is like a super cute, attractive actor, but I think he's really good. Um, and Jennifer Lawrence, like, she's like me. Like, I could be her. Um, favorite music artist is Ed Sheeran, without a doubt. I have been a fan of Ed Sheeran since 2011, probably. Maybe even longer. I just think he is a fantastic musical artist like he's a great songwriter he's a great performer he's a very humble person like he doesn't think highly of himself um or like you know obnoxiously of himself so yeah i think ed sheeran wonderful artist i actually got to see him live for the first time this year in june hands down best concert i've ever been to totally recommend him I am a texture person so if I am in Lowe's and we're walking through like the flooring section of Lowe's I have to touch like all of the carpets the different textures of the wood the tiles the linoleum like I touch things that sounds really weird I really like textures and I 
like textures of paper like mail that I get I really like feeling how thick paper is and like if there's a texture to it um, if there's a food that has a texture I don't like I can't eat it because the texture is too gross um, so yeah I'm a super like conscious texture person I love office supplies I have this weird obsession with office supplies and notebooks and pens and pencils and paper clips and planners and I don't know, I just love office, office supplies. Bugs that I hate. June bugs and grasshoppers. I cannot stand either one of those bugs. Like spiders, give me spiders over June bugs. Like June bugs give me the heebie-jeebies. I can't, I can't do it. I can't deal with it. Favorite makeup products. If I had to leave the house right now, I would put on brows and mascara. Those are my top makeup products. I could leave the house foundation, don't care, but if my brows are looking janky that day, I've got to do them. When I was a little girl, I used to ride my bike in the summer at night when my mom would be outside like walking around our farm, whatever, and my grandma actually taught me to take lightning bugs and like take the butt of the lightning bug that like lights up and I she would smear them on my fingernails so then my fingernails would glow while I'm riding my bike so I'm riding my bike with like my green lightning bug butts all over my fingernails it's kind of gross and morbid because those lightning bugs died I get bored with my hair really easily so I change my hair up I've cut it a lot um, I've had super short hair several times I think like three or four times now um, I like growing it out long I like to dye it and I've been doing that probably since I was 12 maybe because my oldest sister is a hairdresser so I was kind of her first guinea pig hot dog mustard oh Whenever I go to a picnic or like a cookout or something and I'm eating a hot dog, the ketchup and the mustard have to be on certain sides. So like I, whichever one I do first, like ketchup will go on the left side and then mustard will go on the right side of the hot dog and that's just how I put it on. Like it doesn't really matter how I put it in my mouth to eat it, but that's how I put it on in that order. I never put the ketchup on the right. Like that's weird. What? When I was five years old, I got the chicken pox, and I have a scar underneath my right eye to prove it. I have had three moles removed, two of them by doctors to check and see if they were cancerous, and one was actually removed by Anthony just recently because it was like this big old little mole on my back, and I was tired of having it, so he, uh, we tied some string around it, like two or three nights in a row and then it started to get irritated so after that Ed Sheeran concert actually it was like 1 30 in the morning Anthony's numbing my mole with ice and then he takes this razor blade that he's like sanitized he burned it put alcohol on it sanitized it real good and cuts off my mole and it bled for like 10 minutes probably it bled a lot but it healed up and it's fine now so yeah I've had three moles removed when I was a little kid, I would eat dog food, like the little brown pieces of dog food or cat food, because I thought I was cool. Oh, I already said this one earlier, but I didn't realize it was a separate one. But my favorite candy is Carmelo's or Junior Mints, because chocolate and mint is one of my favorite combinations and chocolate and caramel is also one of my favorite combinations so yeah those are my top two and Reese's like Reese's Reese's or Reese's however you say them I say Reese's Reese's um, Reese's has been my all-time favorite because chocolate and peanut butter is a really good combination as well one of the house chores I hate doing is the dishes I will do laundry all day long and vacuum and dust but I hate that there's just always dishes to do. Like it's never ending. I tend to be an oversharer. If you know me in person, you probably know more about my life than you need to. Um, but hey, I'm an open book. <laughs> my favorite season is the summer, but also I like this weird middle section where it's like summer, fall. I like that. When I meet people for the first time, or even before I actually meet people for the first time, I tend to put them up on a pedestal 
So if you're like a really pretty girl and you seem like you have your life together and you work out and you do all these great things and I like put you on a pedestal up here and I'm like down here. So I feel really awkward and weird when I meet people for the first time that are like that because I think they're just this like awesome on a totally different level than I am and like how could they ever want to be friends with me like they've got their life together and then I actually meet people and like talk for a while and get more comfortable and get to know them and I'm like oh we're kind of like the same even though you're still really pretty and still look like you got your life together like you don't always got your life together but that's what I do I have had all four of my wisdom teeth pulled and I believe that my bottom two or one of them. No, I think that my bottom two teeth were actually growing like sideways this direction forward. Um, so I've had all four of my wisdom teeth removed and that was a fun time. It was really painful afterwards but I had a lot of fun on that anesthesia. <laughs> In my graduating class, there were only seven students, one of which was a German foreign exchange student. So I come from a very small town. <laughs> I do not like artificial grape flavoring. I think it is probably the worst artificial flavoring. I have drank grape soda and that really reminds me of my childhood, but I don't like it. It's not that great. <laughs> a grape? It's not that grape. <laughs> I love puns. So after me and my husband got married, uh, some of his friends got us a skydiving certificate for us both to go skydiving. So I think a week or two after we got married, we actually went skydiving together. And it was an amazing experience that I would recommend to anyone. Like even if you're afraid of heights, it's, although you're jumping from a high altitude, you don't ever get that falling feeling. Like, you're so far away from the ground that you don't have a sense of falling. You're just in free fall. Like, you don't feel like you're gonna hit the ground. It's super weird, really awesome. I would love to do it again. So also, after we got married, uh, my husband and I took like a two month long vacation, like extended honeymoon over to Australia because he had actually studied abroad in Australia previously. So while we were there, I got to hold a koala at the Australia Zoo. That was super fun. Its name was Milo. It was so cute. It smelled like dirt and eucalyptus. I have been out of the country to Mexico and Australia. I've grown up really enjoying uh, poetry and writing. So when I was younger and dealing with the teenage angst years. Um, I turned to writing a lot, actually. I wrote a lot of poetry for about two or three years, I think. Um, I still write some. I'm trying to write a book, but I'm really slow at it and pretty lazy at it. Um, but I do enjoy writing, so that's one of my hobbies I do. I'm also kind of a gamer. I really don't like to use that term because I don't I don't feel like I spend that much time playing games, but my top favorite games are The Sims, which I play The Sims 2 and The Sims 3. I got started on the first Sims, so I've been like, I've been down this road. I've been a true original Simmer. <laughs> I feel like a total geek right now <laughs> talking about this. But um, The Sims is one of my top games, and I actually really enjoy playing Harvest Moon on the Wii. Um, one of my friends had Harvest Moon for, I think it was Nintendo 64. I was obsessed with it. Like, I'd go spend the night at her house and be like, so, um, can we play, like, Nintendo? Like, can I play your Harvest Moon game? And I know she would get upset with me because she was like, I don't want you to sit there and play Harvest Moon while I have to sit and watch you. Like, we were like 12 or 13 or something, so I'm sure that was really annoying for me to do. But I loved that game, and that was the only place I could play it because I didn't have it. So, sorry about that. <laughs> so my dream job would be to be, would be to be. <laughs> my dream job is to be a stay-at-home mom, and I'm hoping that by doing YouTube and my Etsy shop and blogging, 
that maybe I could create a little bit of side income to help supplement what my husband brings in. So right now I'm a housewife and I really enjoy it. So I like being able to have time to do my creative things that I enjoy doing, but also keep our house nice and put together and being supportive for my husband who works really hard. I don't know if you've figured this out yet, but I'm naturally a pretty creative person. So I went to school for graphic design and I really enjoyed all the different art classes we had to take for that and it was a really experimental time. Not in the normal college sense, like it was an experimental creative process for me during college because I got to do a lot of new things in my art forms and I got to learn a lot of new um, mediums and processes and things I haven't thought about trying before. So it kind of helped give me confidence that I could do really anything in the creative world. So in kindergarten, I was actually kissed by a boy for the first time. We were in the lunch line to leave the classroom to go down to the lunch room and we're lined up by alphabetical order and the boy in front of me turns around and kisses me like just totally random like I had no idea this was happening and so he kisses me and I'm just like what just happened and so the teacher comes over to me and it's like if he ever does that again just let me know da -da 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 -da. and I thought I was in trouble like she was so she didn't know what to do like we were a bunch of five-year-olds <laughs> I didn't know what was happening um, so she was freaking out and I was just like, okay. And then in first grade, I kissed a boy for the first time because I thought we were dating. I dated like 17 boys in first grade. That's not true. Uh, I went to a small school, so there was like 10 people in my class, but I, yeah. So I kissed a boy in first grade, but I also kicked him in the crotch that same year. So it was a love-hate relationship, you could say. <laughs> I think when I was in my teen years, I was jump roping in the house using a hula hoop, and my oldest sister Sheila actually kind of saved my life a little bit, or saved me a trip to the hospital. Uh, my dad had told me to stop jump roping in the house with a hula hoop because I was going to break the light fixture. And I was like, oh, whatever, dad. Like, I've been doing this all day. It's no big deal. So when he leaves to go back outside to do, you know, check the cows or whatever, I start jump roping in the house with a hula hoop again. And wouldn't you know, I broke the light fixture and my oldest sister, Sheila, was sitting in the chair, uh, like, next to me like in the center of the living room, she was sitting in the chair, she jumps up and catches all of the glass that is now falling down towards my face. And I like, I, I freaked out. I just huddled down, you know? But she jumped up and was like trying to catch some of the majority of the glass. And I just, uh, the adrenaline just like hit me. And I looked at her hands and she, I mean, she was cut. I, I don't know how serious and how bad it was. She didn't have to go to the hospital, but she had cuts and blood on her arms. And I was like totally freaked out. My adrenaline was going. I was like, oh my gosh, dad is going to kill me when he gets home, figuratively. But I was so freaked out. I ran to my bedroom. I crawled in the top bunk bed and like got into the further most corner that I could. And I ended up crying myself to sleep. And so by the time my dad got home, it was probably like two hours later or something. Maybe not even that long. It might have been 30 minutes. I don't know. My dad comes home and I wake up and I see him standing there. And I'm still, I like wake up and remember what happened. So I like scoot back into the corner because I don't want to get like, like I know I'm going to get in trouble because he, he told me not to do it. And then I did it. And then Sheila got hurt. So, um. Yeah, that was a pretty serious, but he wasn't that mad at me. He gave me a hug. He understood that I learned, you know, obviously learned my lesson because Sheila got really hurt at night and it freaked me out. So yeah. So when I was little, I actually, I think it was like six or seven maybe, I tried running away from home. <laughs> so as a kid, my bedroom was at the front of the house and I learned how to take the screen out of the window. My dad or my mom, someone told me I had to clean my room. So they shut me in my room and I had to clean it before dinner. And I didn't want to apparently. So I took the screen out of the window, crawled out the window with like my swimsuit in hand maybe, 
and I r ran to my dad's truck, which was like a white Toyota at the time, climbed inside, locked myself in, and took a nap. And that was me running from home. <laughs> I didn't get very far, and I don't know that my parents even knew that I left, because then I just came walking through the front door, and they're like, where did you come from? And I told them that I took the screen out of the window. <laughs> I've never been to Disneyland or Disney World. My favorite TV shows, all-time favorites, I'm gonna give you about top five, maybe top three. Fringe, love that TV show. I've watched it all the way through twice now, maybe three times. Yeah, Fringe, totally recommend that on Netflix if it's still on Netflix. Um, Pretty Little Liars, duh, that, what? I, I cannot believe that that show is over, but I started watching through it again on Netflix because they put the final season up. So, Fringe, Pretty Little Liars. What else do I watch? Um, Lost was really good. I really enjoyed Lost. Baby Daddy, I really like Baby Daddy. And I watched several shows uh, with my husband. We like to watch shows together. I really liked Blacklist. Oh no, what's the one we just finished? Prison Break. We just watched Prison Break. That was pretty good. I really like those male actors in that TV show. Um, we haven't watched the new season that's on right now, so hopefully whenever that gets on Netflix, we'll start watching that one. But I really liked Prison Break, um, and we just finished that one. So yeah, top five, Fringe, Pretty Little Liars, Lost, Baby Daddy, and Prison Break. Not in any particular order. <laughs> I am a big birthday person like I grew up celebrating birthdays and I just love to celebrate other people's birthdays and the last fact about me is that when I was about 14 maybe maybe younger don't know somewhere in there I was staying the night at my best friend's house and we were running up and down the stairs I don't know why or maybe we were like getting ice cream or something and I was trying to run back down but I slipped and fell and hit my back on the stairs and like you know slid down the rest of the stairs and it had knocked the breath out of me and I thought I was like dying I could not breathe I couldn't catch my breath so I'm like panicking I'm sure my face said that like I was terrified because I had no idea what was going on I was like oh I just fell down no big deal but I could not breathe like that was a really scary feeling so I don't know if my friend helped me walk back up the stairs to her mom to be like, Mom, something's wrong with Darcy. Like, she can't breathe. Um, that was really scary. So yeah, that happened. That's the thing that happened. But I ended up being fine. But I think <laughs> the rest of the night, I ended up walking up and down the stairs with a pillow on my back because I was being dramatic. I don't know. That's something I would do. So this completes the fun 50, what, words? So that completes the 50 fun facts about me. I really hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about me. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and actually go ahead and leave me a comment down below about a fun fact about you or two or three fun facts. I don't care. Let's get to know each other. Subscribe if you liked it and would like to see more videos from me. If you have any video suggestions or tag videos that you'd like to see from me, please leave those in the comment section below as well. Don't forget to follow me on social media. You can find me at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And I also have a blog that you can go and follow as well. So thanks for being here today, and I will see you in my next video. Until next time, bye. Not in like the Normage, Normage. What do they call it? What do they call it? Handwriting? Typography? So I'm trying to learn um, the new like typography. What is it called? Lettering?